In this video, I want to look at horizontal lines of symmetry and other lines, um, and just by drawing out shapes with lines of symmetry, I want to see what will happen. So let me start by writing the numbers 1 through 9. If I start here and write the number of 1, watch how the horizontal line here, this is my line of symmetry, affects the way this number looks in terms of its reflection. So now when I move up, Right, notice here it's a horizontal line, so it moves down. They move in opposite directions. But here the horizontal line, again, when I move down up here, this is where my pen is, the bottom moves up. But if I, as I move from left to right, notice it mirrors my movement exactly. So something about, you know, you start thinking about how this horizontal line affects movement. Let's move forward, we write the number 2. Right, just get a sense of what's happening. And then we go on, 3 and 4, and 5, we'll go all the way up to 9 here, 6, 7, 8, and then 9. So just take a look at how this, you know, the horizontal line affected the mirror image here. And you can imagine, in some sense, what these mirror images look like. In a sense, things look backwards down here. But with the horizontal line, it was interesting to see that as I move left and right, I get exact motion on the bottom, right? But up and down, I get opposite motions. So imagine if I was to write a word, I could use symmetrical letters. I could write this word right here. Right, just focusing on my line of symmetry. And I'm a little bit off here, but I think you get the point. Right, so here I'll write letters that have these horizontal lines of symmetry. I'm using all letters where this works. And then here, this one I'll draw right on the line. And notice I can write the word cookie by doing that because of the way that these letters are set up, they all have that horizontal symmetry. But what else can happen with lines of symmetry? If I just draw a shape like this, what will happen if I have both horizontal and vertical symmetry? So let's take a look. Right, start here. So, okay, so so far it's moving with me. Come down towards the center. And then if I cut up like this and back down, here I actually close and form a polygon. And notice that, you know, if you were to think about this piece by piece, I might start here, let's say, oops, let me turn that off, the uh, symmetry lines there. I right, so start with this line. Let me just put those lines of symmetry back up. Here's one, two. If it's, if it's overwhelming to think about both lines working at once, you could start with a shape like the one I just drew, right? So I start with this one right here. I might fold it over the horizontal line first. So I would think, okay, this bottom image right here has to have the exact same length as this piece right here. So I'd go down the opposite direction. And then I know it comes back this way, so I follow it along. And then as this goes up, I go up, it goes up to the right, so here I go down to the right. And then it comes back left, I follow it. And then I can take that piece and rotate it here, and then rotate it up here, or, excuse me, reflect it over here, and then reflect it up here until I have my complete image. So it's okay to start with one piece and then reflect it up, up you know, along one of the lines, let's say down here and then go across over here and then up. You still get the same picture in that case. So you can work with it in multiple ways. But sometimes your lines of symmetry aren't so nice. Let's look at one more example. All right, now last we'll look at reflecting this triangle on these one, two, three lines of symmetry. How will this look? Well, let's actually start with this diagonal line right here. How will this behave, right, if we're reflecting? Well, let's just Put this away for a moment, look at another example of a vertical line. Well, here, if I was to draw a triangle, right, um, as I go up, notice that on this side, we also go up, but in the opposite direction. As I go down, it follows me. As I come back, it goes in the opposite direction towards each other, right? And I form two triangles. So in our example, we don't have this nice vertical line, but you can imagine that it's slightly tilted to the right, right? And this is here to, to the left, excuse me, and the bottom to the, up to the right. So this whole process will be the same, except our line is not vertical, it's just turned a little bit. So it'll behave in the same way. 
So let me pull this line, this image up. So here as I go up to the right, right, when I reflect on this line, I'll go um, in the opposite direction, the same length. Right, so I'll come up here. And then here, instead of going down to the right, I'll go down to the left. And then this line should be the same length. I get that image right there. And the same thing will happen on this side, right? My image is a little bit off, but I think you get the, the idea. These triangles are essentially identical, which is folded on that line. And what starts to happen as I keep doing this process is I get this really cool star type shape. Oops. Well, I'm slightly off here, but I think I think uh, the idea of how it's reflecting might be clear. I hope I'm not losing it totally. Right, you can see this makes sense that I reached this point because I am also reflecting on this horizontal line. So this triangle and this one should be mirror images of each other, which is which is what I'm getting. And then last we have this piece right here. Oops. Should have used my line tool, it would have been much neater, but oh well. And I guess something like that, and I hope your drawing is a little bit better. Um, all the triangles should be exact same shape and size, but you get one, two, three, four, five, six of them forming this interesting looking star. And just notice, you know, by tilting or changing um, the lines of symmetry in some way, we can really get interesting shapes. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.